Who was Lakin to you? She was like an angel. This morning, Jason Riley speaking out for the first time, describing his 22-year-old daughter Lakin as an avid marathon runner with dreams of one day becoming a nurse and working with children. We were looking forward to seeing her graduate next year. She was so full of life. I just hate that, you know, she was taken so early. Police say Lakin was murdered while jogging on the University of Georgia campus last month. I wake up every day thinking, you know, that I can call her, and I can't. Police have charged 26-year-old Jose Antonio Ibarra with her murder. Ibarra, a Venezuelan citizen, entered the U.S. illegally in 2022, officials say. And despite an arrest in New York and a citation for shoplifting in Georgia, was never deported. Do you think a difference in immigration policy would have made a difference for Lakin? We would have no idea if that would have changed anything, but he's here illegally, that he might not have been here had we had secure borders. Lakin's murder has become a flashpoint in the partisan debate over immigration. Former President Trump meeting with Lakin's mom and stepdad earlier this month just days after this tense exchange at the State of the Union. Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene imploring President Biden to say Lincoln Riley's name. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. I feel like she's being used somewhat politically. How do you feel about that? It makes me angry. She was much better than that. She should be raised up for the person that she is. An angel on earth. Her heartbroken father says, now gone, far too soon. What gives you strength? Knowing that she's looking down on me, it has made me so much stronger. And truly heartbreaking. And while the suspect has not yet entered a plea, we are now learning that he is demanding a jury trial according to court documents. And the family of Lake and Riley is also preparing for what is likely to be a difficult trial. Her father telling me that he is heartbroken not only for his family, but also the family of the suspect whose lives have been forever changed. And he told us that if he were to see the suspect's mother, he would want to give her a hug because he believes that's what his daughter would have done. Peter? It's a heartbreaking conversation, but we're glad that he was able to speak out and share her experience, her story. Priscilla, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.